politics is something you want to dive into, especially now, you might not want to beat around the bush. <laughs> you supply 90% of the jobs in this community. With you backing me, that speaks volumes. Or it could backfire severely. Mr. Mayor. Commissioner, how we doing? Good, sir. But how does it feel being the youngest black president of the Alderman Board? Trying to do my best to help is all. That's good, son. That's good. Any advice? Anything else to be cautious about? Commissioner, why don't you take this one? Just do your best, son. You want to know what's better than controlling the block? Controlling the legislation that allows your punk ass to be on that block. I want to extend and let you know you have no idea the amount of gratitude I have for you for your contribution to this campaign. Our business dealings will have to be put on hold. And as a consequence of that, I can no longer continue funding you. <laughs> Are you serious? It's been a great 12 years. We're not happy with the way our local government handled the situation with our youth last week. And with this man at the helm, we're certainly not pleased with the way our current mayor is handling the situation. And because of that, several of our youth are no longer with us. It was your company that laced that tear gas. If it weren't for me, your ass would be sitting in prison right now. Congratulations to you. What for? Let's just say you believe in me the most. For the past 12 years as your mayor, I've made change. Says His Royal Highness right after he eats from my hands. Thanks for the contribution. 32 kids. 32 Edward. All dead. You remember that. You're the one who ordered the cops to move in. Not me. Hey, babe. I wish you would pick up. But I'm calling you because I don't know if I'm going to see you or Akira again. Yeah, I have my heart. But I got to do this. I got to do this. Tell Akira I love her. I love you.
your chest. Yes. Oh. Do I know you? Of course. Okay, what do you want? This is a joke. Payback. Good evening, officer. That's commissioner. And what the hell are you two supposed to be? I'm my kind. Racket. We're here to help you all however we can. Really? But first, you can help me by getting down on the ground and putting your damn hands over your head. I know you told me not to assume everything was racial, but this would not happen to Super Let's do what he says. I'm complying with the officer's request as I expect you Your to. Your last chance. Get on the ground. I ain't no criminal. Commissioner, ever since the Big Bang, your department has been severely understaffed. Your men are laughably equipped to deal with the real threat inside. People's lives are at stake. Look, one thing you gotta understand about me is that I am on the rocket. Hey! What the hell do you think you're doing? And I ain't Rodney King either. You got 15 minutes, and after that, we're up to bed. You got me? Thank you. Hey, you know it's a matter of time before they find me. Have a seat, please. They won't have a chance. That's the look of a man caught in his tracks. It's called fear. And if you ask me, I'd be scared too. Come in. Wow. Looking mighty lonely in this big ass bedroom. Oh, come on, Saul. In the one place where I try to find peace. I try to take my mind off the workplace, yet there's always a little something that ends up right here at my bedside. Why am I not surprised? What do you think about this Big Bang stuff? There's some possible holes in the story. Why do you ask? Something just doesn't feel right about it. You shouldn't have to worry about it. And I wouldn't. It's the weekend. Your ass needs to get ready. Carl outside. You already know. All right, let's get going. I need to think about taking on this Hawkins case. The Hawkins case? Man, I was going to take your uptight ass to the strip club. Come on. I told you. These white folks don't lock their doors. For as long as I could remember, I wanted to be a writer, but being where I'm from and at the age of 19, just really didn't know where to start. No alarms either. Man, it's looking too easy. Be smooth. Grab anything that ain't nailed down. Yeah, no cash, safes, and all those stuff. You know who upstairs. No one, you and me. Prospect Hills was where the people who didn't have our problems lived. To us, it was like a whole different world. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I always heard people live like this but it was something different seeing it for myself.
Chill, Noble. Let's go. Come on. I know you gotta make a living. But so do we. So do we. You don't know what it's like. These streets hard. They mean. They ruthless. And they don't give shit back to you. And ain't no white man shit worth getting killed on. See, I don't work here. But my house and the things you are taking are also mine. Chill out, let's go! Oh, I'll take whatever I want! Where did he just come from? The sky. Let's make something very clear. I have zero tolerance for criminals no matter their age or color. Because I wish to keep my privacy, I'm gonna overlook your activities this evening just this once. But let this encounter be a lesson to you. If you want something, pay for it. Can't afford it, work for it. Your actions tonight reflect badly on our people. And so what you gotta pull a poop first? I'll shoot you in the face! I really hope that whatever you're reaching for is made of chocolate because I promise you, I'm gonna make you eat it. I want you all to leave here now and tell no one what you have seen. Hey, man, you got a visitor. A visitor? Yes. At home? Yes. Without an appointment? Hey, she broke through the back. What was I supposed to do? Watch yourself. What are you doing here? It's the only thing I was interested in taking last night. But, um, where are you from? Excuse me? So you're not from Dakota City. And from the looks of it, you don't have anything to do with the Big Bang. So you're not a bang baby. And last night, you got shot. So where are you from? I'm from a completely different solar system. A planet called Terminus. I can I see. Look, we got a gift. And with everything going on around here, we really need what you have. And you're supposed to be rocking. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna stick around and make sure that you never forget why you started doing all this in the first place. Raquel, people don't need dramatic examples to shake them from their own problems. 
If you aren't where you want to be in life, you're not trying hard enough, plain and simple. People out here dying every day. People my age. People that look like us. And you sitting in this big old house, loving it, living it, chilling, with this big old title. You out here tripping, open your eyes. My world seemed so small, but it was at this moment, everything changed.
tell the world what happened that night at the Big Bang. You do that, I'll let you go free. Okay. Okay. But can you at least tell me who you are? say anything to save your own ass. Well, talk time is over. Not about no damn raise, about what you and your billionaire friend did. Time to go live. Family, it's Jeffrey here. It's in my deep regret to inform you who's responsible for the Big Bang. Directly from the source himself, or should I say man himself, whatever man is left of him. Tell the people what you did. Look. Lord help me. I, I take responsibility for the death of, I take responsibility for the death of the 32 kids who died that night of the Big Bang. Who else was involved? Nobody. It was my call alone to move the cops in. And you would do this to your own people? See, family? It's one thing that he ordered cops to move in and kill 32 of our youth. It's another that he tried to cover it all up. I'm no executioner like the mayor, but I'll be the retribution those kids deserve. I've heard enough people today. No need to make things worse. Things couldn't possibly get any worse. Rocket, get the mayor out of here. Come on, let's go. Now, what do you want? I wasn't trying to hurt the mayor. The longer he's alive, the colder city will have no rest. I'm just trying to send a message. To who? The world. <laughs> surprised you decides to get it out. Well, I don't think anybody's expecting a man to be running around her wearing something like this. I suppose not. Anyway, I'm guessing what you have to tell me is very important since the whole city wants your head. Well, yeah. With everything that's going on right now, there is no way I can guarantee the docs. Not anymore. Let me tell you what that sounds like to me. 
Sounds to me like you can't guarantee you're gonna do your job. Now listen. No, you listen. Sit your ass back down. What was the name of uh, Payback? <laughs> C was right about you. You run your mouth too damn much. They got eyes on me everywhere, Leonard. Everywhere. Eternal Furnace is probably digging through my trash right now. You should already know. When shit gets hot, you create a distraction. You know when, by the way, uh... A few weeks ago, you told me to stay in my place. See, but the problem is, you thought you had a higher position than what you actually have. You grew content and complacent with the illusion of power. And all along, you were nothing but a puppet, a hollow little bitch, sitting on somebody's lap with a hand up your ass. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna protect you. I'm gonna show you what real power looks like. In the meantime, you figure out where your place is and get there. Good afternoon. I called this press conference today because Dakota City is in a state of crisis. Due to recent events, I have decided to take action against the people you all know as Bang Babies. These citizens who show extraordinary abilities are dangerous and a plague beset on this city. They are a threat to the citizens of Dakota and the very fabric of the society we have here. You may know them as your friends, but they are not one of us. You may know them as your family, but they are not one of us. If you or anyone you know is aware of this threat, it is your civic duty to contact the authorities and we will take it from there. Please stay safe and may God help us all. Thank you.